Yo gang, what's happening? It's your boy Busy back with a brand new video. And today, I'm not gonna be trading. I'm gonna be showing you guys one of my trades that I had on the 7th of August. Today's the 8th. This video will come out on the 9th. But I still think that this is gonna be a good uh, insight into how a trader can have a good day and show that they have a good day, but they don't show you what happens after that. Also, another point that I'm gonna be looking at in this video is showing you some of the new pocket option features that I kinda like and some that I don't really like. I really want to dive into it with you guys and see which ones you guys are using and how you can use that to like you know maybe improve your trading and some that i think that you should probably stay away from so let's dive right into it so gang this is it this is a chart this is a little run i had on the seventh as you can see here i can open it up a little more for you guys to see so that you guys can see right there just let me open it up, just wait for the page to load. And as you can see, this was the crazy day I had. As you can see, crazy day, all one minute trades, Euro USD. And you can see all the greens that I was in. It was a crazy day. You can see my percentages of trade on that day, on the 7th until the 8th, 100% on GP, AUD, 100% on British and Canadian dollar as well. As you can see, Profit made that day was a cool little 15 bands. Uh, you can see that I had about 29 the last time I made a video. So I was able to get about 15K. All of this trades was me just trading the market. As you can see, what's going on with the stock market the last couple of days. Used that news to my advantage. Went to the markets, was able to take a bag. You know, I was able to get a bag out of that. But that's not the main thing. Two things I want to speak on. One thing is uh, I'm getting a lot of people who are calling my trading fake and it's okay like i'll take it like as you can see here i got like 3k three bands losses right here that's about six bands of losses back to back to one euro usd i thought i really had it but you can see price closed a little bit lower than you know what i was expecting on both trades but no big deal as you can see i got my money back on one of them trades well i didn't really uh get to take profit and now that on the one hand one hand so on the other hand is uh all of the new features that i think precautions add in and i think that this is really good because it can really tell the real traders apart from the from the fake ones uh first of all the most important thing you're looking at when you're looking at a trader is you want to look at like it's so easy to spot like i just i could go to any youtube channel and i'll just look and I'll be like, okay, they're using an old version of Pocket Option, which means that this video is not real. And you even see some people who are using Pocket, op pocket Option, my God, I feel like I can't even say my word right. Using Pocket Option versions from like two years ago. Like that shit is so old and people are still using it. And it's still, still getting plays. It's still getting watched. And I'm like, you guys are getting bamboozled or people are just uploading back old videos, but none of that. But I'm gonna put you on game right now so you can see what are the things you're looking at. First thing is, everyone's been telling me, yo, BC, how much is on your account? You have about da 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 on your account. How much is that? What does that mean? Like usually before when you were in pocket option, you had the little beginner, master, guru, and guru was the highest point, right? And you can see on my account that it has been on guru for a long period of time. And people are like, why is it not changing when your account fluctuates? Well, in the old, if you go back to my old videos, you will see that it changes all the time depending on the amount I have on my account. But Pocket Option added a new, new, new update because they had like, I want to say in the last couple of months, they've had like three updates. I think they're really spending money on making it. Ah, how am I going to put it? Like, I want to say the gamification of trading, which, which has happened with m many platforms, whether it's Robinhood or any other platform, but I don't really know how I feel about it. But let's get into it. So usually before you see those changes between beginner, master, I think it's professional and guru before it used to be. I don't remember exactly. But now you get this little guru sign only after a certain amount of deposit, which means it doesn't change until you deposit more. And I'm gonna just let me just show you on the screen right now. So you can see that if you go to the loyalty program, you click on loyalty program and here you can see all the things that you get. I'm on Guru because I have made a total of 23, 
of, of 25, well, I'm doing a mistake. You can see how much money I don't spent on this. And this is a lot of money for my deposit. This is about 200 grand deposit totally. But I still haven't got called up for the VIP or the VIP elite, like special invite. I still haven't even gotten VIP. I've checked my chat. No. So front right now to get into VIP or VIP elite, you have to get contacted by their personal assistant. So you get a personal assistant to you, but I still haven't, even though that I've made more deposit than you need to get into VIP elite. But you can see a, a bunch of things comes with it. So you get like 5k trade amounts because now I can't do more than 3k. Uh, before, you know, when I had the Google plaque with the old thing, I, I was doing 5k and you could do up to 10k trades. But now I can't do that anymore because I don't have that personal assistance, even though I've made 200,000 in uh, deposits and you can't write them. It's special invite only uh, when you meet their criteria, which is you don't know, you have to contact them. I'll try contacting and maybe see if I can get it. If I do, I'm going to definitely let you guys know. And I'm going to show you how that process is. So you can see right now I'm on Guru. So it doesn't change. You get to VIP only after you get contacted. So that's one of the things that has changed. So you won't see that huge dump that you usually see depending on the amount of your account anymore. You're mostly going to see that depending on your deposit. Another thing that has changed that I never really paid attention to is the achievements. See, I don't really, I don't really fucks with it. Like, I don't like the idea of getting achievements for trading because it kind of makes it like a game and it's not a game. It's like you're, you're spending real money. You want to you know, keep that in the back of your mind. But I think that most platforms trying to make it seem a little bit more like a game so people don't really pay too much attention. And I'm here to tell you that you got to pay attention. Like, it's very, very important for you to pay attention. So don't, don't go like thinking that oh i'm trying to hit some adventures uh achievements sorry my bad i'm gonna open it up for you and you can see like this is just mine uh i don't really look in here i just come out here sometimes like you get some bonuses for this like you could get like reward back i remember one time you could get like a hundred box into your account that is withdrawable if you get an achievement. So I guess if you're hitting that to get those goals, but you have to remember, you don't want to go to ahead and lose money just so that you could get like a hundred bucks back because you probably have to trade a lot. You can see some of the, some of the demands you got to hit before you get it. It's kind of crazy. Like 50 trades of $20 or more or, or like a thousand dollars trade or $2,000 trades or 3,000 or 5k on a trade. There's always like, there's always things to get you to like spend money more. And I don't really know how I feel about it. So I don't really use it much, but there's been a lot of focus from pocket option on it. And I guess it's the way to just make players like, I don't want to say players cause that just makes it look like a game. Trade is more active on the platform. So trading more, trying to get it back. You know, you can make some trades, make $20, $20 trade five times, maybe get a hundred dollar back. You kind of feel like you broke even, but let's get back to the other things. First thing I'm going to tell you again, if you're seeing a trader and they have to be able to show you your, they're closed, right? I always try to show you guys all the time what trade in the moment that I'm trading. So you guys can see it like back to back. And that's a way for you to visualize it because if a trader is telling you like, oh, I, I'm going to enter this trade. I'm gonna make some profit and there's gonna be like a cut. You don't know when exactly what's the stop from the first trade to the second trade to the third trade to the fourth trade. So you always have to like, you know, keep your mind on that. So that's definitely something that you um, definitely need to keep an eye on when you're looking. Another thing that I think is really important and I, and I haven't used this before, but I just found out is market watch. So I never used this before and it came to my attention it was never on for me, but it's like a way for you to see, you can see the direction of all currently open trades by platform users for the asset on the chart. So you can go to different charts and you can see where everyone is placing their trades. So you can see about now 58% of people are uh, trading on the green for British pounds, Australian dollars, 64% right now. And you can see, this might be useful if you're looking to see where everybody's mind is. 
Like right now, you can see that switches quick close. So it changes very quickly depending on what you think. But you know, if we're thinking here, this market is definitely trending upwards. So definitely, this is a call, easy call right there. I could even enter that for four dollars. I don't mind if I lose it though. But you can see that that's trending upwards just by market structure easily. Uh, so that's another thing that's new. Uh, hot keys. I told you, don't use hot keys if you're new because you don't really want to end up using shift w to enter into an uptrade and then making a mistake by hitting your uh hot keys wrong and then losing all your money i try to stay away from that even though it's faster yes it is and you could you know if you're looking to snipe and enter into a trade that will help you but i really don't know how i feel about the whole achievement and gamification of this because there's another thing that they've added in market now where you can do all of this gem stuff now, this is the things that is really, really, I, I don't even understand how this is working. Like you can get money back and you can spend it on gems. Like, I don't know how this stuff really works, but it's like some kind of bonuses. You can get bonus to your balance. You can get risk free. So if you lose a trade and you have one of this risk free, you can cancel the loss for some amount depending on your level. So you can see if your level is I can cancel a trade for $10 for $50 but I can't because I have to be at level seven or higher to uh, cancel a trade for hundred. And it goes on, it goes on, it goes on up to, up to a thousand. So you can make a bad trade and then cancel it, which I think is okay. But in order for you to get to level 15, you probably have to spend a lot of money trading and probably lose a lot of money trading as well. But there's a lot of gem lottery, gem mining, you know, it's really stuff that I don't want to get into, but you see a lot of people are into it. They're making trades. And as you're making trades, you can be making money as well. But I don't really, uh, you know, put that in my mind at all. So for that, that's that's where I'm probably going to end this video today. Just wanted to show you guys quickly that please stop saying in the chat that I'm doing ridiculous trades and I'm not making, um, I mean, in the chat, Jesus, my brain is fried from watching streamers uh in the comments uh you guys are always talking about how this is definitely fake and i'm just trying to show you guys that i'm a, i try to be as transparent as possible all of my trades are shown you can see this this just was the trade that we entered so you can see that today is the eighth seven was when i had that great trading day with about fifteen thousand dollars profit and i've showed you guys the whole list and i can show you again so you can see this was the trade from today and you can see the rest of the trades so as you can see uh, and you can see right here what I was talking about exactly. Some of your trade results and loss, and you can cancel on profitable with risk-free bonuses. So if you go to the market, which is just where we've been, if you had the level, you can probably cancel some trades. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet, uh, but I can trade cancel for ten or fifty dollars, I think. But I don't even have insufficient. I have insufficient funds for that. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for joining me for another info. A uh, video about pocket option, no trading. Trading is going to be coming up on Monday, so you definitely don't want to miss out on that. Uh, I'm going to be trading live on Monday. The video is going to come out on Monday as well, so make sure that you're locked in and ready to watch it as well. So, without further ado, no, not without further ado, what I'm supposed to say is thank you guys very much for joining me. If you want to join the best Telegram channel that there is for any info and watch me trade live as well as if you want to follow my trades free of charge, no payments at all so all you gotta do is click the link in the description join the telegram channel and you can follow my trades on a daily basis see for yourself if you feel like it's something that you want to do i also have a vip it's absolutely free all that you got to do is show me that you're willing to trade and we can get to business so it's been your boy busy and i'm out